Okay, welcome to another one of my tutorials. I'm Newbie442. This one is just on the basics, getting started, creating your account, options you may want to change, and just a few of the things that you can do to learn and how to log into a server and stuff. Okay, one of the first things you're going to want to do, well, I recommend doing, going into options. In graphics, you'll see that you've got like model quality, texture detail. I put all them to zero for the distance to zero. Those things don't affect your performance. You can't get stuck on them or anything. But world draw distance and object draw distance is like buildings, players, rocks and stuff. So you want to have them on maximum. That's what I recommend anyway. All right, so then up here, you've got desktop resolution. I put that up to max for performance, but you can put it on lower if you're desperate to increase your frame rate. Aspect ratio is just like widescreen and changing it through that. Anti-aliasing, texture filtering, that sort of stuff, and then just full screen, vertical sync, stuff like that. Alright, going into sound, you'll see that we have master volume, sound effect volume, interface volume, music volume, voice chat volume. You'll see that voice chat volume is on zero, but that doesn't really matter because it's bugged, and no matter what it's on, so you can put it up to full and it'll still be on zero nothing happens when you put it on to high alright and disable voice tips does not work I found so I just put the volume down to zero and that does work um, then you've got the sound quality which is also bugged you cannot put it on high well I can't anyway every time I try it just stops me and puts it back down to normal anyway so I can't really be bothered because if I press OK it'll think that it saved it but if I go back under options it's back to normal Alright, so then you can go into controls, it's just your setup, you've got your binds for general and player and stuff, you've got inventory usage, in my combat guide I've, I've run through some of these things so telling you what they do and stuff, so I recommend checking that out as also if you're very new and you just started playing Savage 2. Okay, then on to gameplay, you've got the mouse sensitivity, camera smoothing, angle smoothing, field of view. I put my camera angle smoothing to zero and my camera position smoothing to zero because I like to be able to turn around quickly and not have that sort of delay in the mouse. I like to be able to turn around quickly and hit people behind me. I find it helps me a lot in combat, but personalize it to how you like to play. Alright, then you got invert mouse, which you probably know what invert means. Third person gun so that you see over the shoulder with a target in the middle of the screen when you're shooting instead of going in first person mode and hold down charge key to maintain charge I recommend doing this because it makes it much easier I don't like the double tap keys to charge and dodge alright then on to gamepad I don't use a gamepad but if you want to you could enable gamepad set up your gamepad um, voice I just have everything on high so that people can hear me easier and I can hear them easier I definitely recommend having on push to talk though because otherwise people will really hate you because it'll most likely jitter a lot and yeah not much else to be said about that alright so then we're going to want to get out of here and if you're very new which I'm hoping you are when you watch this tutorial you are going to want to create an account of course if you already have an account you can obviously skip this process it's fairly self explanatory first name last name email password and nickname you can't use an email address for more than two account, more than one account. So if you want to have multiple accounts, you've got to enter a different email address every time. Same for nicknames, obviously. You can't have two of the same nickname. All right, so once you've got all that set up, just click Create Account. You should have an account. Now, if you want, before you can go into that, you can go into Local, and you can say Create a Game. You can have a look at some of the maps. I've got quite a few because I've downloaded some, and I do a lot of server work and stuff. So I've got a pretty long list of maps that don't actually rotate on the official servers. And obviously you can use this to do la have LAN games and stuff. And then you got tutorial which will bring you into a tutorial on how to play. It doesn't cover that much, but it's still worth giving a look at. It'll show you some blocking and give you some tips and stuff like that. But I still recommend video tutorials made by players. They help a lot more. Okay, then you have the practice mode here. This will put you into an uh, offline single mode like game. There is obviously no storyline. It's just a place where you can familiarize yourself with skills and units and stuff. One day when the internet out, I spent like all day just practicing blocking against AI, but it didn't help me in game that much because obviously players use different styles. 
Alright, as for replays, funnily enough, quite a few of the slightly older members that have been playing for about one or two months, maybe a little longer, don't actually know how to use the replays option. Once you go and click on it, there will be options here. If you have a replays folder in your My Documents Savage 2 A Tortured Soul folder, you have to put in create a folder there named replays and put all the replays that you download in there and also all server replays that you have on your server when you're de hosting one will will show up on the list as well but they'll show up as these ones as you can see they've got the map name and then other numbers after that whereas ones that you've downloaded will only have numbers like that and then we can move on to obviously that covers everything there apart from quit which is very self-explanatory and then you get on to logging in alright so once you log in actually I'll go back and click on it again you'll see that it brings up this where it's checks for updates if you have just installed the game you'll most likely have to update if you install the earlier version and that'll get you up to date and then you can log in with a create account you created and then once you log in you will be presented with the servers page where you get to pick your server and stuff like that